I'm Father Bob Tinelli. I'm pastor here at St. Joseph here in Milmet, and I'm here today to speak to you about our fall campaign known as To Teach Who Christ Is. At the same time, we are celebrating during this year uh, our 170th anniversary, especially here in the month of November. From its very humble beginnings, St. Joseph ministered to a small farming community of German immigrants, and even to today, we are, cel we are also ministering to a larger scene of Wilmette families. The present school was built in 1935, and the present church was built in 1939. These were two projects that were undertook by the Archdiocese during the Depression years. To Teach Who Christ Is is an archdiocesan-wide capital campaign to create a Catholic endowment that seeks to raise $350 million for parishes, Catholic education, and religious education formation in the Archdiocese of Chicago. Every parish in the Archdiocese is participating in this campaign. Now, each parish has been given a goal for the campaign, and as of now, St. Joseph Parish has met its goal for the Archdiocese. So all we collect in pledges now will be for St. Joseph Parish and its needs. The goal for St. Joseph is 1.8 million. As of today, we have 1.5 million collected in pledges. We are not far from our goal, but with your help, we will succeed. So how do we plan to use this money? The building committee has identified two areas of need. Our top priority is to complete needed repairs in our school building and church building. Before discussing these two priorities, we gratefully want to acknowledge a special donor who approached our building committee before the campaign even started and contributed $130,000 to refurbish the pews, kneelers, and install new flooring in the church and sacristies. Now originally, these repairs were part of the campaign. They are no longer. I would like to thank that donor for their vision and commitment to our parish. Did you know that we are still using the original cloth wiring that was installed in this church when it was built in 1939? Imagine if you had this problem in your home. We need to remove all the cloth wiring and replace it with new wires that meet the current safety standards. And this includes the installation of new circuit breakers and a new fire alarm system. We also need to update our beautiful light fixtures, which includes upgrading the bulbs with LED efficient lighting to better illuminate our ceiling and wooden beams. At the rear of our church is a beautiful tapestry of St. Joseph. This was donated by the Sisters of Christian Charity. Additional lighting will be installed that will illuminate this tapestry as a result of this campaign. Lights will also be directed towards our beautiful Stations of the Cross. These stations were crafted by the Vatican Studio of Mosaics in Rome. The other major work needed is to paint the interior. The colors are dirty, muted, and faded. There is water damage in many places, and in others, the plaster has begun to fall. New colors will be selected to complement the Italian marble walls, the new flooring, and the colors that come through the stained glass windows of the church. The Teaching Who Christ Is campaign will also be used for the school, specifically the masonry. Recently, we completed minor brick and plaster repair on the gymnasium due to water intrusion. However, none of these jobs were able to properly address the continued deterioration of the masonry in the school. Tuck pointing repairs will be needed in order to address several decades of water damage that have caused steel lintels above the windows to rust, bricks to crack, and push away from the building. We also need to repair the wooden beams in the attic. I'm sure that you agree that these repairs are long overdue and will be given priority. 
Our secondary goal remains a long-range plan, a grand dream, if you will. The idea is to transform the Annex building into something more for our parish. Our long-range vision will include a brand new archive room, a place dedicated to our magnificent 170-year legacy, creating an air-conditioned perpetual adoration chapel, an outdoor meditation garden, and finally, a need to improve the deteriorating portions of the annex building itself with masonry repairs on the outside, window replacements, and classroom improvements on the inside. This campaign has been going extremely well, and Mary and I are thrilled to be a part of this campaign to benefit our wonderful parish. As of today, over 88 families here at St. Joe's have pledged more than $1.5 million for this campaign. We hope that you will also join in the campaign. There you have it. This is our plan for the future. I hope you are as excited as we are.